Hello everybody and welcome back to my China vs. Ethiopia series. At the end of the last segment we stopped at the Liberty Finisher because it wasn't clear whether I should go for Great Scientist or Great Engineer. I thought Great Scientist was the obvious choice, the immediate 8 uh, science per turn from uh, Academy would right now be almost 25% increase. It is true that we're a little lax as far as having the citizens we need to work all the tiles that we want um, but I was surprised to find that most people were talking about the great engineer um, if you're just tuning in basically we've been doing a good job of keeping city states satisfied and this one wants us to build the oracle um, even though we're going domination I chose to finish out the liberty tree rather than get started on honor so we are behind social policy wise if we used our great engineer to rush an oracle we'd get a free policy right away and then of course more culture per turn as well as the great scientist points per turn and then of course since we have this city satisfied as a friend they would give us um, food in our capital and of course we're any moment going to get a great uh, profit unless somebody else founds a religion first in which case both of these guys will be satisfied and these guys will be our ally in all of our cities We'll get food, including the one we're going to conquer, the next one we set down. So I can definitely see how it's a toss-up. I do think that in terms of science or culture, we are more behind in culture. Even though we have an ally over here, we're going to have an early guild over here. Well, it's not early anymore. I made some military um, uh, concessions, I guess. So... Um, one thing I did want to point out about the end of the last video is I noticed that after we finish the sugar, this might actually be a good idea. And the reason for that is because we will be hitting iron working soon, so it'd be nice to have this number be 320. It's clearly not going to be. Um, it's kind of okay because this guy is straggling anyways, but we do want to get them all upgraded as soon as possible. And then, of course, after that we'll need money to upgrade our uh, spearmen and then money to upgrade our composite bowmen. So we're going to need that influx of money, and right now this tile versus this, versus this one, I think this is better, at least for the moment. So, since you guys said you wanted the great engineer, here we go. Um, I could see both ways, but I really thought this was more of like a quirk of mine, so I'm kind of glad to see that uh, it wasn't entirely a bad idea. We switch our production to Oracle, we use the great engineer to rush, and then pray that nobody else is doing the same thing or finishing a hard build at this point since the hammers are all accounted for let's just do growth for this turn um, the reason why I wasn't giving it much credibility on my own is simply because um, I try not to rely on wonders um, obviously if you've got a great engineer the risk is very low by comparison um, but I try to engage in strategy that um, just works plain in general but we did get it so let's go ahead and open up the honor tree of course there's a notification there's three notifications okay so there's one down here which is actually a problem because we were just about to send a trade route to Warsaw so now I'm thinking that's probably not going to be the best idea. Yeah, because we don't know how long that's been there. And they'll be able to see it passing through. So I'm not comfortable with that at all. Well, let's go ahead and reassign that while we're thinking about it. Um, I don't know what I just accidentally clicked. Maybe I clicked City on accident. but um, Warsaw, no. We're already doing Bratislava. And then that leaves Beijing to Panama City and Kathmandu are identical. Um, we were doing Kathmandu before. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw. Alright, so the path from Beijing to Kathmandu came in here and then up through here. Um, I'm thinking that's not going to be the best idea because units can spawn right out here, just flat land. I'm surprised there's one here at all because these, I mean, there's a comp composite bowman. These both should have military. But anyways, let's send it back to Beijing since we're either going to go to one of those city-states or the other. I'm guessing if we were to go to Panama City, it would follow the road here and through there, so um, that's probably going to be safer. And then the third camp is uh, nothing to be concerned about. So this camp, I want to go ahead and address it. It's funny, too, because at the end of the last part, I was thinking about how if I was going to, if I was planning on setting the trade route here, 
rather than doing this dance, I should send this guy down. And then send this guy down to uh, steal workers in his stead, simply because um, we were going to send a trade route through here and we hadn't seen down here in a while. And as it turned out, that would have been a better plan after all. So I'm really glad we saw that for sure. Because if I hadn't taken the honor opener, I probably would have just sent this off and then had this guy. And sending it to here is not the best idea anyways, because we're just about ready to go to war with Ethiopia. And how many turns is it going to take us to get everybody set up, march on him, take the city, march all the way back here, and then start heading for Poland? I think Poland makes sense next geographically, because from what we can see, it looks like everybody's in the east. Um, with the exception of me, Ethiopia, and Poland. So we just basically do that, and then it's taken over the western half, or the eastern half. Um, so, because I was thinking, as I was looking over here, planning on how the war might look, obviously we already had a plan to take a lane through here, you know, melee leading a, an, ar uh, an archer, hopefully the scouty type one, so we can step and shoot because of the hill and stuff two lanes here for melee to come through and then uh, archers to come behind them. Over here it might be worthwhile to lead with an archer because there's a water here which is kind of in the way but it also means our archers can shoot at stuff more than more than likely without retaliation. So maybe have an archer here when we declare war step. If there's nothing here to shoot we can step in here, come here and then this appears to be flatland. So we should be able to step off, shoot and that way the backfilling military uh, melee can get in. Um, for that reason having the four melee is probably the best we can accommodate and we have four melee heading there even without this guy so that probably would have been a better idea uh, even if it hadn't been for the knowing for sure there was a camp there just to check to see if there was a camp there. Uh, he's the scout type and he can just follow the road so that's why I'm doing it that way. They both needed to get over the river this turn. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's uh, do that. kind of want to swap these guys out. Um, we'll go in strong with the uh, swordsman, with the uh, spearman being behind. The fact that this guy's straggling a little means he's probably going to have to come in fourth place as far as he'll be probably be the one down here. Which is fine because you'd want the strongest one to be the one coming in here simply because he's got a city here. I don't expect that we're going to meet too much resistance. <laughs> if you look at the military score, Ethiopia is at the bottom. We're at the top of the middle of the pack with only France pretty much dwarfing us at this point, so that is a problem. Luckily, they're very far away, and we've been able to trade with them from the moment we met them. Not only is Ethiopia low, but it's been steady, so I don't know at what point this graph reflects that we were killing his stuff, but it doesn't look like he's done too much since. And that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's go back to this setup and finish the National College, which surprisingly enough says it's going to take a turn less. Not sure how that works out because of the rushed engineering, but apparently there were some spillover hammers, I guess. be interesting to see how the math on that looks. Anyways, going back to the east and west, this was actually something I was looking at after I ended the last recording. I noticed that there was a mountain here and border and rough. Uh, with his city here, he might have units just dancing around here. Right now, he's actually got three units all within the two hex radius, so going west just isn't even an option. Uh, the fact that he's not healed up, we could take the time to heal up, but what I was already thinking about, and this just kind of like reinforces that idea, is because we know the layout here, what if going east avoided the likelihood that we get trapped over here? Because what if we're sitting over here just waiting for all of his units to finally let us through or something like that? So I figured do that. We'll come east around the city, maybe then like come down to Morocco, and then this scout will be exploring the east, because we are planning on building a scout in the west, and based on what we can see, it looks like he'll just kind of take a peek on Ethiopia and then look more around Poland, and he can handle the west. So we'll have this guy kind of handle the east, <laughs> is my thought process. All right, we have the honor opener, so that means we no longer need this guy dancing around looking for barb camps. We'll just know when he's there. Uh, we'll set him here. No, might as well put him in the city. Eventually, we'll have military cast, right? That's what it's called. Um, as far as the left and the right paths, I do think that the left tends to be the later path. You know, like uh, if you're just opening honor, you probably want to go this route first and then come here. 
we're going to be fighting early. I mean, that's part of the reason why I'm going before Chokanoos is we expected to, you know, do a little damage west and then just mostly push to the east. So, um, I'm not sure how important this is to have early. We would like to complete the tree because of all the free gold and stuff. I'm just thinking this, because we're trying to take on so many policies, I think military cast is something we should prioritize. Um, the extra culture and the extra happiness are probably both going to be coming handy. And it's always good to have that, um, because the way I personally play, I tend to neglect my military. Um, so that'll be a way of kind of keeping me on my toes making sure we're going to have enough military to handle the land that we have. I am going to still have him chop down and expedite this, even though the scout's clearly not going to be able to lead the charge. Oh, look at this. This is nice. I wonder if it's because we set his uh, worker free or because we actually built a wonder. Um, I was denying this before, but only because he was buzzing around our borders. But now that we're fully occupying our borders, I don't think he can obstruct our push. All right. We did get the Great Prophet. It's kind of bittersweet because we don't actually want the religion. If you look, there's uh, one religion. Wait a minute, why does it say Unknown Civilization? I thought we met everybody. Huh, I wonder what that's about. Um, but anyways, I was already looking at this, trying to figure out what I would do if we got the Prophet. And if you look here at the follower beliefs, Cathedrals, monasteries, pagodas, mosques, all taken. And that's the whole point of having a religion when you're going wide, is so that you can get a bunch of free happiness buildings with your faith rather than having to spend uh, your money or your construction. So, and as, of course, since we're dominating, we can just steal religions, right? Like this religion here will be the first one we have the option of take. He's got mosques, right? So it's not as good as pagodas, but it's three-faced. So every one you buy makes it easier to buy the next one. And it still gives you ha uh, happiness and culture. And we could definitely use the culture. And the problem is when a great prophet is born it ha and it's not a holy city, he doesn't actually like spread religion. So even if we take this over, we can't then use the same great prophet to spread Eastern Orthodoxy because he's just he's not programmed that way. So that leaves Holy Site, and unfortunately, just like with the Academy, we don't really have the room in the capital. We don't even have the citizens to work the tiles that we would like to, and of course, by the time we ramp up to them, we'll probably have some specialist slots we'd want to put them in. Um, so I was thinking, okay, I know they can do tile improvements, say, on, like, horses, and that way it'll connect the horse immediately. So you might think, okay, well, we're going to build a settler after this. Let's just drop it on the horses here. The problem with that is that this is a production-heavy tile, which means in this particular city, it would probably be the fourth tile that we worked. Um, and the whole point of dropping a holy site is that you're actually working it. So looking at all my cities, the best I could come up with is either here or here. Um, but because this is a river, I'm not... I don't want to give that up. Um, I don't know how much... I don't put much of a premium on grassland river farms, but they are, you know, food. It'll help get the city up. Whereas this... Oh, wait, this is River 2. Okay. Um, so I might have to re-examine that. I was kind of thinking about this off recording, but... Um, this city already has a ton of growth. Like, it already has this river farm, you know. Um, technically, I, I don't... Does civil service say freshwater? or river specifically. Food from the farm increase one on top with access to fresh water. And I do believe Lake Victoria counts as fresh water. Yeah, in fact this specifically says as much. So we have a lot more fresh water access in Guangzhou and Guangzhou already has all the bonus growth already just from these two tiles. So here is where I'm thinking as far as the holy site goes. But you guys let me know what you think. I was also looking at, like, in tiles in this city, but it's at 8 pop, and if we conquer it, it'll be at 4 pop. It'll probably work the uh, two culture tiles as well as the gold tiles. It's really nice that he's got culture for us. So between his religion and these tiles, um, we're probably going to keep the culture train running for some time. Um, in a way, that kind of makes Oracle that much more common sense, just because... Um, because of the way that culture scales, um, the more you're going to stack, the more valuable it is, kind of. Or the more you need more, I should say. 
because we do want rationalism just because it's an easy way to stay competitive, but it's worth pointing out that the opener specifies when the empire is happy. And starting wide and then going to war across the world, um, happiness might very well be an ongoing challenge, so it's not necessarily something that we can just flat out count on. Alright, so caravans up, and from what we can see, they are equal. Uh, Kathmandu, it's not the most dangerous route, but I think Panama City is going to be safer in general, so let's do that. As I suspected, it crosses the road and then comes up through here, and this is rough, 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 whereas here he's got flat land access. Um, fewer tiles, too, between here and here, so <clears throat> more likely that Panama City's military will be able to respond accordingly. Wow, I think so. I clicked right over there. I clicked this. Okay, so that lines up nicely. Um, we're only doing the lumber mills here to help expedite the uh, uh, guild after that. I'm not sure if I'll rip them up and put farms there because it's a river. Um, but we got multiple options, so we'll, we'll uh, keep an eye on that. So looks like the uh, iron workings got one turn to go, so here we go, all of our melee like that. Um, no, he doesn't quite get there. Oh, okay, because we don't have bridges yet, so even though he doesn't have a movement penalty, he doesn't get the buff from road going from here to here. That's why he can only move three. That's unfortunate. The whole reason I put him there was so he can zoom. But there's two roads here, so he moved three hexes this turn and three hexes next turn. That's good enough. Uh, great general. Let's get him to the front. All those guys are just waiting. Okay, find our way around that guy's city. Let's get those horses online. Um, this tile will become available right afterwards, so just bounce over here, so that's pretty good. Um, we're going to grow to three pop at that same time, so we'll work this tile, and of course we'll move off the gold once there's two hammers here instead of just the one. Um, he might as well just sit tight in the city tile. He's uh, meant to be satellite defense, and since we have the honor opener, he doesn't have to... I suppose there could be something to be said for being out of the city tile for now, since we don't have military cast. The visibility here just means that one won't spawn here, and obviously dealing with one at the extremities. Well, I guess that wouldn't be easier, because all of our military is going to be more centralized relative to the outskirts, but whatever. I already moved them. Okay, all the workers are done, no trades to do. Let's keep on cruising. we got a war to do here. And we'll be able to... Actually, I need to start thinking about this, because we want to talk to Haley, hopefully provoke him, and then denounce him, and then go to war with him. And we need to be mindful of when we do that, because if the AI seems to be sensitive about where your military is, if we're inside our borders, no big deal, but if, if everybody starts coming out of the borders at the same time, he's going to be able to detect a strong military presence here, and he'll prompt us, hey, what you doing? at which point we either say we're passing through or it's time to go to war. We want to avoid that because if we lie, we're going to get more of a dip uh, diplomacy hit with the rest of the world. And if we tell the truth, war is declared right then and there. Whereas if we can de declare war on our terms, we can maybe get somebody to pay us to do it or get somebody to join us in doing it. Um, in which case, I think the penalty is a little worse or the upside's better, however you want to look at it. All right, so now that we've got the critical uh, military text, let's go for drama and poetry because we've been trying to get that online for a while. Okie dokie. Um, he could handle this by himself, but again, we don't know long, how long it's been here, and if this was to throw off another barbarian, I don't want him getting overwhelmed. So I'll whoa, I'll have this guy come and help. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, there's the rest of the chopping, so that's expedited. Very good. We're not actually looking to finish these road tiles yet, so let's just do this. He can also help with the road here, because we got a little bit of time, and then we can do lumber mill for the new pop. Um, there we go. And there's that. So he'll finish that road. And that means these. this guy should be able to do these three. He should do these three in about the same time that this guy's doing this one. Or pretty close. We'll probably be like a turn off, but whatever. <clears throat> okay, so it's time to 
upgrade these guys. I think now would be a good time to um, talk to Haley at the very least. Let's see. Uh, don't settle no series near us. Yeah, and of course he just coalesces. Now I don't know if that makes denouncing him like not worthwhile or like even penalizing, but that's the way we're gonna do it. So I put him up here just to get out of the way of the scout. The scout really needs to be able to zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, from here, the guy can come here next turn when we're denouncing. He should be the only visible unit, and that's only if he's got units here. Um, and that way, like we could do, like I was saying, we could step and shoot. Um, while these guys are getting into position and these guys are starting to push forward. Uh, so that's the plan. Obviously this guy is going to be late to the party, uh, monetarily speaking, so... Um, you know what, actually... Let me move here. This is, I think I already explained, this is our sweet spot, getting across the river hills. Um, I'll just move there and then next turn come up here. And then we should have enough money he'll upgrade. And I'll have him go check on this camp. I totally forgot about this camp. Um, because of the way that this guy's got military and this guy's got military, we might not be able to do anything about that. But we do technically have somebody we can send that way, so might as well try, I think. Um, let's see. We'll have him come up here. Because we're going to be building roads through there eventually anyways. So, I, I'm trying to figure out where the best place to put that guy is, but... Alright, everybody else just sit tight for a second. We don't want to explode out of the borders just yet. In fact, it might even be that I'm doing this a turn later than I should, but we'll see. We'll mostly just be right on top of our own borders, so hopefully it's not... Oh, look at that. They're actually targeting it. That's pretty good, because between these two, this is the one we have the least amount of influence with. Um, it's unfortunate that they both do furs, because we're not getting that kind of benefit from being allies with both of them. But that food's obviously going to help, and the fact that it's ally status does all of our cities, and the number of cities we have is actually going to grow. So what I'm going to do is just take a shot here, he'll heal up for a turn or two while his backup gets into place, and then we'll go from there. That's my style of doing things. So let's see, we'll step out here, don't see any units here. We see a unit over here. But that's good, because that means we won't see us here. Uh, this guy will come in behind, act as kind of like a back protector, and then backfill as we already discussed. Okay, not seeing any units there. This is the scout, so that's how we're going to do that. Have these guys move in like that. Oh, he's got a unit there. Um, since he can see this tile, I'll move the great general here. I don't know how much that matters, but, you know, every little bit, I think. And these guys will just come in from behind these melee here. He'll go over here, do a river farm. Um, so now is going to be the time to denounce him. There we go. Alrighty, so let's see. We're going to hug the city, get as much visibility as we can. There's that mountain range. Um, I don't really know. Like, uh, up here is fine, I guess. Because any, any uh, camp that does spawn, it's not going to throw off a barbarian right away, anyways. Okay, so he's got two turns to complete that. He'll have two turns to complete that. And he'll have three turns to complete that. So, around the time he's getting finished, these two will both be finishing up the second to last tile, which means next turn they can both just go one more. I think I'm counting that out right. So basically there'll be just a one turn gap where we've got most of the road down, but... Uh, not actual a connection paying for it. <clears throat> we do try to minimize that. Alrighty, so we're losing grasp on Bratislava, it said. That's unfortunate, because that's cotton, that's happiness, that's going to take us down. Um, we do have a scout out and another one being produced, so, you know, maybe we find another natural wonder. Sooner rather than later, three pop and growing to cattle, same turn. And we're also finishing horses. So while we're min-maxing over here, let's do this. Because uh, we do have all the gold we need now to do the uh, buff. Of course, we're going to still try and stockpile as much as we can. Alright. Pachacuti has completed the Statue of Zeus. So if we could take this city, then all subsequent city will be easier. 
Um, however, if we were to, the most logical approach to Pachacuti would be from here through here, which I, I want to take as few cities as possible just to try and minimize the hate. And also there's a pinch point here, there's a lot of rough here, which is a double-edged sword, not only, uh, or I should say a double whammy, because not only is that something that would retard our movement, but uh, Pachacuti actually thrives in the hills, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, added movement or something like that, no terrain penalty something along those lines. So this is not a valid uh, approach and even if we could look at this the way the river bends like approaching from here would be kinda crappy. Ideally we would come in from here because there's a lot of flat land and stuff. But here's a small break in the mountains and again rough 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 choke point and of course the city states right on top there so his units are gonna be bouncing all around so that's not a valid approach. Um, even coming through here would be a problem, like maybe going to Babylon and then coming up north. Uh, any way you slice it, I don't think going for this just for the Statue of Zeus is going to be a good idea. If we look at the map, I think maybe Ethiopia down into Poland, maybe come down to Morocco and then start pushing up. Uh, France seems to be our biggest competitor, so he'll probably have to be last anyways, like a long war uh, whittling down units. Anyways, enough babbling about the future. We just the point is that we can't go for Statue of Zeus first, and that's fine. There's it's not that important, I don't think. Um, here we go. We got the flank going. We're just gonna have him heal up. Um, the fact that they're heal finishing these road tiles is perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and drop that holy site. This actually does stop the city from growing for another turn, which you know it's fine. We'll get to seven pop before the. I mean, we're at seven pop. I guess I was saying uh, we're still going to grow before the uh, guild is up. So, Okay, a break in the mountains, and looks like we get to squeak through. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. All right, you're going to start that river farm. And we did denounce him. This is the turn that we're going to attack. In fact, we can step here and shoot. I don't want to lose any time with this guy because he's got a lot of rough to walk through but we can do this to shoot and um, let's see this is the better placement for the general right now and of course this guy can step oh he can't reach okay so we don't have to worry about that um, interesting he's got a worker here so um, you know what that might mean it's time to make peace with Kuala Lumpur because um, we already kinda have enough workers and you always get one from taking one over the only reason I would really try for more is because you know if you're conquering you gotta build roads out there you're gonna have tiles to repair as you can see looks like he's got a barbarian problem um, repair your own tiles if he should happen to try a counterattack while we're away in fact, maybe sending this guy up here is not such a great idea. Uh, but we, we do have a quest for it, so I think I'm going to go for it anyways. Plus, I don't really see him getting too froggy through here. Um, once these guys are finished, one of them can come back over here. So it might actually be worth it making peace with Kuala Lumpur now, now that we're... Because we're going to start being at perpetual war now, so we're just not going to have the time to dedicate our units. Because um, we're doing this to take advantage of the fact that we just went up to swordsmen and composite bowmen probably by the time we're getting ready to push into Poland we'll have pikemen and then shortly thereafter we'll have chukanus to help us for the rest of the uh, fight. Let us check on Poland's military Damn real it. quick um, let's see they're bright red so they're up here they're still beneath us they tend to be horse heavy so it is nice that by the time we start heading that way we'll have pikemen um, so what was the point I was getting at? Something to do with the window of opportunity. Uh, we're just not going to have the time to be practicing on Kuala Lumpur. We're going to be getting all of our experience out in the field. So let me go ahead and make peace with them. Um, they're actually afraid, but they're under Babylon's protection. I don't want to upset Babylon right now. We're going to start uh, inviting the ire of the world and anything we can do to minimize that. So we are about to declare war. Let's see if we can get anybody <laughs> to pay us to do it. Okay, can he me. hasn't even met. That's actually a problem we might be running into oh, here because wow. Ethiopia is just off in the corner. Um, maybe Poland, because they're pretty close too. So, oh, they haven't met him either yet. Okay, so maybe nobody has? 
Ah, Darius has, and he's our friend, so let's see what he'll give us. Nothing. That doesn't surprise me. He has no interest in... Uh, actually, none of these guys should have an interest in Ethiopia being antagonized or conquered. No, nobody else has even met them. So the other thing to check, then, is the only other person who has met them. Let's see if they'll join us. And, uh, oh, we got to pick the person, right? All right, so he declines. Okay, well, I, I'm hoping this means that only Darius will know that we're attacking. So, hopefully we won't get too much uh, hate off of that. That's a good hit. Oh, man, that, those great generals sure are nice. What just happened? No, 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 no. I clicked on the tile or something. Luckily, his move was already done. Okay, that was the gold for the... Uh, uh, the embassy. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. So we have a worker that we can capture back here at some point. I'm not going to make a... Actually, he could come down here because he can't shoot on the city for two turns anyways. And if he comes here, he's subject to being shot. So I like this because here we can do this and then step and shoot. <gasps> Settler. So we're actually going to get two workers from this war. So yeah, that definitely would have been the right time to um, uh, make peace with Kuala Lumpur. Alright, so we're just going to keep pushing up like this. Great General comes here, obviously, because he's got a two hex sphere of influence. And we'll just keep these guys in the rough. Kind of push in here. Um, we're going to have a bit of a traffic jam here, but I think that's going to be okay. I'm guessing the city's going to choose to attack this he can't reach any archers, and this is obviously our weakest of all our units. Maybe here, just because we're possibly going to attack the warrior. Um, so if he does attack, because we're not seeing any horses, he can just bail out. Or if we do get him to come down here, because here's the here's the problem: flatland here and then rough. Like there's just not going to be a way. The swordsman can probably take a couple hits, but not the spearman. We'll have to see how much damage it does. The Sikh's a great engineer. Yeah, you're kind of late to the party there, bub. Alright. So, last late religion was founded, but that's okay. We are getting lots of faith per turn. National College is finished. Let's go on to Settler. And we'll see what comes after that. As far as the Settler goes, we are still working all the best tiles, so let's just keep on doing that. Actually, um, that's not necessarily true. 27 and 4... 27 and 4, 28. We can get one more hammer. Um, you know, that's less than a quarter of a percent. Or it's a quarter of a percent? 4%? I don't know. I think I'd rather have the gold is the point I'm getting at. All right. So there was another spawn, and it's a horse. Uh, good news is we got spearmen here. Bad news is these guys are very mobile, and we have a city here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll have this guy start heading this way just in case it matters. Um, see, he can finish the road here. He can finish the road here. So we'll actually be able to have this road mostly finished while the Spearman's trying to occupy it. That'll really help get him down here quicker. I like that. Um, he's got the higher health, so let's lead with him. And then, bam, we actually finish like that. There's the culture. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hopefully we can get our hands on that horse so we can get the uh, uh, culture for him as well. He's only got one turn to go here, so he would just finish. And that's fine. This is not a river farm, but I do like the two food tile. We're heading towards civil service, so soon it won't matter. Because uh, the four food tile might be better. We need options because with Lake Victoria we don't want grow, grow, grow to the point of being unhappy. So this is the one city where keeping things under control might be worthwhile. Anyways, he's just going to finish the road. We'll figure out what he's doing next. Ooh. Hill and hill. So unfortunately, without a full retreat, we're just not going to be able to get out of this. Um, so if I move here and then here, this guy could probably reach us. If I move here and here, this guy could probably reach us. Yikes. That is not a hill, so I think the obvious answer is we go here. That way we only... Oh! There's the world wonder. We we don't actually lose Bratislava. Nice. Or natural wonder. I always get those two confused. And it's Kilimanjaro, so by having the scout move here, we'll get a buff 
that will allow him to move a little quicker moving forward. Man, that really blows my mind. Okay, it's time to go check on this camp, and he should be able to see it from here, which means he's now actively shooting on it. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, because there's a quest for it, I really hope we can clear it, keep that food rolling for that much longer, because the longer we can keep this food rolling, the more it'll uh, help to validate the fact that we went with the um, Oracle. That's what I was getting at. Okay, I, I always choose rough. Uh, let's see here. Minor victory. That doesn't seem so minor to me. Doing almost 44. Yeah, that's really good. 41. I'm going to have him come here. If he's going to start playing the outside, I want to be able to catch him. Uh, we do have backup coming here. Let's finish this road. In fact, now the road is entirely finished. So that's really good. Um, and that'll make it quicker for him to come here. He can cross the river next turn. That is nice. Okay, so we are about to get another population. Let's go ahead and set down another lumber mill uh, for the purpose of making sure the um, guild gets constructed as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see. No longer ally in the natural wonder, so we did keep them. That's nice. Uh, seeks investors. Well, our gold's going to be spoken for and for probably the rest of the game. Military, stuff like that. Um, let's see, we're heading towards civil service to get those pikemen up. Uh, we can go through horseback riding, which building some horses at some point is not a bad idea. Or we can go through currency. And I'm thinking that's probably going to be the better choice. Yeah, I mean, look, with two gold tiles and two trade routes running out of here, I mean, the city is doing that. Um, the market is plus one gold and then also plus one for trade routes, so that brings us up to 24 something, and then 24% on that is another eight. So that'd be plus 11 gold. We need that market. Um, yeah, so this is actually one of the advantages of slower science is the fact that you actually have time to build some of the buildings, but your military obviously is not going to be as technologically advanced, so there is a trade off. All right, so he could sit tight for another turn. Let me see here. If we come here, these two swordsmen can probably just take this guy down, which will allow the scout to step and shoot the actual city. And since we can get more than one shot on the city, I think that's worth exploring. And obviously we'd want this to be the killing blow just so he gets off that tile. Um... So yeah, we know that we're doing that. We know so we probably will come and hit this guy and then him there. Yep, we know that is happening. Alright, so now we gotta think of if he steps here and shoot, there's no way for the great general to influence that unless he comes here. In which case he could just be captured. A way to protect that would be to move this guy here, but he already lost a good portion of his health he would not be able to withstand that shot and then getting shot on the way out even with the great general helping so I'm thinking of pulling this guy we could defend in place and that would delay the archer getting in by a turn and I'm thinking since he doesn't have any military resistance from this point on having the four composite bowmen and three swordsmen should make this very very quick work so let us do it like this and then, of course, we will move the Great General down here, just so we can at least extend his sphere of influence to this Swordsman as well. He's probably not going to get shot, because we have two Swordsmen that are already damaged, and this one's on flat ground, so I expect he'll shoot this one. But all the same. Alright, so Worker is going to come over here, start working on the iron. Once we take the city, which uh, will might not be next turn, but the turn after that, if not, it might actually be... Because we'll have three male, three swordsmen with flanking bonuses after four composite. Yeah, there's a good chance we'll take that down next turn. Okay, so... Um, sugar. Okay, at a time like this, I prefer to just let the sugar come back. Like, we could probably up the steel to seven and just say go for it. But let's let the sugar come back to us and make that decision on our turn. What I was going to say before Darius interrupted us is this makes it pretty clear that Poland does know that... Ethiopia exists. Alright, so there's the city connection with Wang Zhao. Um, Scout is out. 
and a promotion for the guy that did get shot. And we can see a barbarian here. So now we have reason to believe his barbarian troubles started from the southwest. For this reason, having my scout continue to step and shoot is probably a good idea because we can see at least two lanes coming southwest out of his... Or maybe this is just plain west. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyways, let's get all of our uh, composite bowman shots in. Yeah, this city's falling this turn. Um, for that reason, if I can take the city with the swordsman, I'll use this shot for that guy. Because I think we can. And we'll want to do the capturing with the swordsman. That is the weakest. Just so he can heal on the city tile after that. And I'll actually make this the second hit. Well, no, because I don't think... What the city fights back. I'm trying to keep one of these guys at as much health so that he can be the one that passes through the city to take on the barbarian threat in the background. But anyways, let's hit. Hit. Oh, we might need the other archer. Yeah, I don't want to take chances. Especially since this guy would get killed if he, you know, hit, did not take over the city, and then got shot. So we do have to spend our shot with this bowman this turn to do that. Just to make this a sure thing. 130 gold right there. And um, we're not working the two gold tiles, but maybe we can. Uh, we just picked up two truffles. I probably should have tried to sell off the sugar before I did that. I don't think the... Uh, Ket Mandu decides trade route. Okay. So one with the one with Bratislava is over. We'll send that up to Cat Mandu, assuming we can clear this camp. Uh, looks like he'll shoot the guy. He might survive, but it's going to take us two turns. So hopefully he kills it and something respawns so that we can get the culture. But if not, we can at least get the gold and the credit. So these guys are going to be ours for a while. All right. So going back to this, we now have duplicates on sugar and triplicate of truffles. How much gold do you have? Six per turn, so he's only going to be able to buy one or the other. He's got enough gold to buy both. Hopefully he's willing to give us full value. He's willing to buy the sugar. So it's probably going to be truffle, truffle and sugar. Sugar is what looks to be optimal. Um, okay, so he knows about the warmongering, and that's such a stiff penalty, minus 51. It's probably a post-capital loss. <clears throat> um, so that's unfortunate because we're trying to... Oh, well, if we're selling him the truffles, that would have been that way anyways because we didn't have... So, um? Well, actually, no. With our happiness... Our happiness is crap, so never mind. I was going to say we could have sold off the truffles we had before taking the capital. But, yeah, he's willing to give us six gold, so that's that's good enough. Even with that modifier. Or maybe it's that the modifier looks to be present, but it's not going to be in full effect until it's his turn. Nice. He's willing to pay full for both. Alright. There we go. So what, we do not have extra sugar? Yeah, I, I was saying sugar to him and sugar to him, and that's clearly wrong. Um. Well, crap. I probably could have gotten seven gold for him, so that was a mistake. Um, all we can do is hope that this helps relations with Poland. That was a mistake. I could have been selling it to Darius for more. Um, let's see here. So the scout, we might as well come up here. Because we're just going to head back. We can see into there. That's nice. We're going to head back here, find out where the barbarians are coming from. We'll have an archer and probably the swordsman go back there as well. Um, I don't think we need the great general for that, so he'll start vacating. Um, this guy will probably come do the iron. This guy might come and pillage us just because he can. That's what barbarians do. Um, but we would actually want a mine on there anyways. We don't want, even once civil services, we don't want the city working, you know, suboptimal tiles. We want the culture and the gold. <clears throat> Scout is finished in this city. This city does not have a coliseum, so let's do that. Okay did discover so yeah our happiness is crap because uh, so much of it is borrowed well, let's see if we step here with the flanking bonus and our I think it's worth it we're getting pretty hurt but this guy's almost gone now if he attacks us and gets killed does that um, 
does that give us the culture? I'm not familiar with honor enough. Alright, so we're pretty close to Marrakesh. I, there's a body of water here. I kind of want to get eyes on them. So let's come over here. We moved three tiles thanks to the altitude training buff. When combined with the scout buff, if you're traveling, if your first three tiles are hills, you can actually move four tiles per turn. And that's really nice. Uh, let's see. He was heading over to get healed. Um, let's see. These guys can start the road up here. We're also going to need a worker to come to our new city. That's going to be this guy because he'll finish up and he'll come over here about the same turn as that. So I think these two getting started on the roads and then one of them can come back for the sugar. Does that make sense? Well, we have two workers over here. <clears throat> so I think maybe sending him to the new city one of the new ones because we don't really it's not important that we have this done quickly the roads are not only gold which this will break even but it's also happiness because of the policy so I do think getting the road up a little quickly is going to be a good idea um, looks like we're pretty much done with the horsing around down here but um Yeah, even if it takes time to pull them back out, let's just be careful. Oops, I passed the turn. Uh, we are well past the half hour mark, so I'm actually going to end it here. I meant to do it at the end of the turn. I try to address all the notifications and stuff at the start of a new video, so I apologize for that. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The war is pretty much done. We'll probably be able to sue for peace here. Okay, it looks like maybe I should have had my guy come over here. I had thought about it, but uh, hopefully we can make peace mm -hmm. and that won't even be a factor. Man. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.